Hello dear student, in this video we will learn next point from your chapter that is about XML processing instructions. Meanwhile we have learned what is an XML, uh, what are the uses of XML, which are the different rules are required to define the XML. Then we learn about the XML DTD and now the next one it is about the processing instruction. Now processing instruction uh, that are used to allow to give the instructions to your application. So here uh, it will pass the information uh, through your application. So mostly that it will uh, define that what data exactly you want to pass with the help of these instructions. Now what is syntax for this PI? Uh, you can see here question mark within uh, tag and target instructions and end with the question mark. So target will define that uh, the application to which the instructions are directed and how exactly your data will be get displayed. Uh, these instructions, uh, these are the character describe the information for the application to process. Now, let's see uh, one example. Mostly, uh, it will use that XML document. will use the instructions of the style sheet. So, it is used to display how exactly your data uh, will be displayed on a browser and how the information, which information will be passed for the next processing. Uh, so here you can see the question mark in a tag XML style sheet href this is for the reference and it will refer uh, this style sheet tutorial point style dot css example and it's a format type is in a text slash css so your input input means your XML file will be passed to this css and this css you know that uh, cascading style sheet it is used to present your data so this uh, will include the information that how exactly your data should be processed and uh, it should be displayed so uh, this is one example now which are the rules that uh, these are the two examples of the rules one is that uh, it is in a combination of question mark and the tag and uh, this example you can see welcome to page 10 of tutorial points this is your valid example and another one also is a valid example if one of the question mark is missing then that will be an in invalid example now we will see some examples how exactly it works this processing instructions uh, there are two examples uh, two CSS has been created. One is a sample1.css uh, and second one rule.css. So for sample1.css, let's go to the editor here. Sample1.css, you can see this one. And example PI, uh, this is an example PI. So first of all, we will see this XML part and then we will go to this CSS. So here in question mark XML style sheet H reference is equal to sample1.css. Now this document will refer sample1.css. Type is equal to text slash CSS. It is a CSS type. Now uh, this information that you know, uh, this is a parent element and these are the child elements. Name, company and the phone. These are the child element containing the actual information. And uh, you can go to this one, uh, sample1.css. So sample1.css see here, contact info. Uh, here background color powder blue. Uh, so you are that color background will be get changed and name company phone these elements will follow these rules color is equal to red uh, font size 25 pixel font weight bold so if we run this program let's run this output example pi xml double click it will open into the browser now see here Tanmay Party tutorial points and phone number. So in a one line this information has been displayed. And suppose we are not using this uh, X CSS uh, that is in processing instruction. Then how exact it looks that you know. But let's go to that part. So uh, by default it will look with the tags also. So if you want to just process that. Uh, information then we will use this processing instructions uh, see here in this way your information will be get displayed why because of the CSS part and it is referred uh, in here as in a processing instruction within the question mark tags now uh, in this sample one dot CSS if I choose display as in a block wise say control s and again run that program 
एग्जाम्पल पी आई नॉट एक्सएमएल सी एयर राइट नाउ इट डिस्प्ले इन अ ब्लॉक वाइज सो आफ्टर वन इंफॉर्मेशन वन लाइन ऑफ एलिमेंट नेक्स्ट एलिमेंट विल बी डिस्प्ले ऑन द नेक्स्ट लाइन एंड सो ऑन लेट्स टेक अनादर एग्जाम्पल बुक्स डॉट एक्सएमएल बुक डॉट एक्सएमएल and it is referring uh, this rule dot css let's go to the editor see its coding part this is an a book dot xml now xml version number 1.0 uh, encoding utf8 uh, and this one second one part for processing instruction xml hyphen style sheet and type is equal to text slash css h reference is equal to Rule dot CSS. H reference it will refer to that particular file. Rule dot CSS. Uh, now books, you know this is an apparent element and containing. Okay, this is heading part. Welcome to uh, computer books. Then book. Uh, these are the. It's a child elements and containing elements as in a title, author, publisher, edition, and the price. So uh, this is in your XML file. so main uh, focus here on the second line uh, where we are referring to rule dot css for processing instruction now let's go to the rule dot css uh, so this is in a rule dot css file here you can see books that is your parent element uh, so it will be color white specified background color gray width is 100% and uh, heading uh, now this heading we have given welcome to computer books will be with this one color font size and background color and heading title author publisher edition and price that will be display block wise means one line after another in that way so every element will be displayed on the new line uh, title its font size will be 25 pixel and font weight is in bold now let's run this program Book dot XML. This one. Double click on this, and now see. Book dot XML. You can see over here. So this one has not been changed. Okay. Wait. Let me change one file. Okay, this is an output. So here, this is heading part and elements, title, and author, publisher, edition, price. So uh, these elements and the structure of uh, the XML displayed according to the CSS file. So uh, the input that instructions you are giving for that particular XML, it will act like that one. So by default, uh, we are passing to a CSS file most of the times. and css will apply its own style sheet format and this information you can use to display it and even you can pass if you want to pass only information uh, and removing the tags then you will refer this processing instruction concept so this is an end of uh, this chapter and uh, we will see some examples of dtd that we have covered in the last video concept as in a dtd now what is in a dtd uh, dtd you know this is in a in a your so we learned about the dtd dtd you know it is for uh, document type uh, definition it is used to validate your document we have seen uh, it's a syntax this one doc type element and dtd identifier and we have seen there are two types internal dtd means it is specified within that document xml document and external dtd means uh, this these are the separate files are maintained now uh, we will see directly examples of external and internal dtd now uh, this is Uh, external DTD, DTD external. First of all, let's go to DTD uh, internal. So it looks like this one, XML version number uh, 1.0, and here you can see doc type note, element note two from heading body, and element two, element from heading body. So these uh, child elements are containing actual data, and it is of the file type as an pc data so pc data it is a past character data so it, it will follow the rules and regulations of past character data
that already we have discussed discussed in last video so now this uh, you can see this ddd part and uh, this one uh, information part of xml both are within the same files and just we have to run it let's run this file internal ddd so here you can see uh, this is an output of this file now uh, let's go to the external ddd external ddd this one ddd external okay see now here uh, xml version 1.0 encoding uh, utf8 stand alone is equal to no yes that is a main important property that you have to set it as a no if you are referring external ddd then it must be no if uh, and if it is your uh, internal ddd then it is a yes property now here uh, which type we are uh, specifying document type address system uh, here you can specify system or public identifier so system uh, it will define the location that is an address dot dtd now let's and this is your part address parent element name company phone and this is your uh, child elements now let's go to the address dot dtd this is an address dot dtd See uh, this address dot dtd element exclamation mark is compulsory element. Then uh, address and uh, this address root element containing these are the child elements. So list out that one. And after that write down uh, this name, PC data, uh, company, uh, phone. All these are the hash PC data. So let's run this program. DTD external dot xml. So this is an output, the same output. Only we have added this component as in our DTD rules and regulations outside of that particular uh, document. Mm, external one, another one example DTD external one. Open that one. So here, uh, which DTD it is referring? Node dot DTD. This team node dot dtd and uh, this part element parent element as in a note and child element two from heading and body. Let's see node dot dtd. This one it is a node dot dtd. Okay, so this is a node dot dtd exclamation mark then element note. Uh, this is your parent element and these are the child elements. And then uh, two from heading and body. Uh, it's a data type is of the PC data, pass character data. So write down as a hash pass character data. Save this file. Now let's run this DTD external one dot exam. Uh, see this is an output. So uh, node dot DTD uh, define you it is an external DTD. So these are the internals and external DTD examples also we have taken the examples of the processing instructions and this is the end of uh, chapter 8 xml we will stop here and thank you